In the days of Noah the earth was filled with violent men called Nephilim. And a corrupt and sinful culture. Just like today. The first use in the Bible of the word comfort. Is in Genesis, 5:29. It was a comfort that Noah would see the earth cleansed. Noah saw the end of the violence and corruption. He experienced the new beginning. Twice in the book of 1 Thessalonians we are instructed to comfort one another with the knowledge that God is once again going to cleanse the earth of corruption. We are to be especially encouraged because we will be raptured and will escape the wrath of God's judgment. 1 Thessalonians 4 16 and 5 verses 9 10 and 11. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 18. Comfort one another with these words. The true followers of Jesus are going to be raptured before God judges the earth dwellers who are left behind. We sleep well knowing that we are going to be raptured. The true followers of Jesus will escape the coming seven year tribulation. Earth dwellers are left behind to endure the judgment. <coughs> He sleeps so peacefully. He sleeps like a man who knows that he is not going to be here for the terrible seven-year tribulation. He snores like a freight train though or a twin turbo, or maybe he snores like a warthog. Or a hippopotamus. Oh I know. He snores like a 1916 SNAS mobile with a bent muffler. Or no muffler. He snores like an ogre. Or a jet boat. 1 Thessalonians 4.18 Jesus taught on the rapture. Matthew 24.40 Two men will be in the field. One shall be taken and one is left behind. 1 Corinthians 1.7 Awaiting eagerly the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrews 10.37 For yet in a very little while. He who is coming will come and will not delay. Titus 2.13 Looking for the blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 and 4. We comfort with the comfort we have been given. Jesus is the comforter who provides the comfort. Finding comfort in the soon return of Jesus to rapture his own and save them from the seven-year tribulation that is coming on the Christ rejecting people of unbelief. The church is the bride of Christ. Jesus would not allow his bride to be beaten for seven years just before he marries her. Jesus raptures his church and delivers her from the wrath. Men bring wonderful gifts to the women they want to marry. They want to be with them and would never want them to be afraid or harmed. Jesus feels the same way about his bride, the church. <laughs> 